He is a professional gambler. He is a perennial candidate in every election. Love him or hate him, John Janelle is one of the most colorful characters this city can boast. On Peter's People, Peter Lockyer introduces you to the John Janelle you never knew. Who hasn't tried this at a country fair or a Lions Club fundraiser? It's a mild form of gambling, but it's fun. And few of us would ever expect to make a living out of this game or any other. But then, we're not John Turmel, the best-known gambler and would-be politician in Ottawa. You won't find this 34-year-old gambler sitting down to any nickel-and-dime card games. He prefers the action of Las Vegas and Atlantic City, or whenever he can, a game with Ottawa's high rollers who have money to lose. In fact, his biggest win ever took place one night in a card game here in the city. Nineteen thousand. Yeah, nineteen thousand dollars. Yeah. Who has that kind of money that nineteen thousand dollars would change hands? They're just people who run big businesses. You know, there are a lot of people like that out there. Have a lot of money. To them, it's nothing. You know, you talk about a thousand dollars like we'd talk about a dime. But this man who earns his living with cards at night is quite a different man during the day. I'm a kid because I'm young at heart. I enjoy play. I enjoy all sorts of stuff. I'm not in the rat race. I'm not bought by tokens. You know, I won't sell my soul. I won't work 20 hours a day for tokens like some people do. And they wake up at 65 rich but having lost their whole lives in the pursuit of tokens. I won't do that. Six years ago, John discovered yet another passion in life. Call it. He and his brother Ray are perennial candidates in elections, any kind of election. They've run for every political office from mayor to member of parliament. So far, they haven't even come close, although John and Ray have attracted plenty of attention. World's shortest prayer, just that amen. Nehemiah 510. Right out of the Bible, neat, eh? Every Thursday afternoon, you can find John Turmel here on the Spark Street Mall. He's been here almost every Thursday for four years. You see, Thursday is the day the Bank of Canada sets its weekly lending rates. And if there's one thing that bugs John Turmel, it's the interest banks charge on their loans. Just remember, if they collect interest, the Bible says, well, you know, he's going to get him. John Turmel has an engineering degree from Carleton University, although he's never worked a day as one. But he likes to wear a white hard hat. He says he's a new type of engineer. He's John Turmel a social engineer. A lot of my peers, engineers, think I'm a disgrace for the profession, but I think it's important enough to be out here protesting against something that puts farmers out of work in a world that's starving. That's where his expertise comes in. The protest is usually a family affair. His brother Ray is there to help argue their case against the bank. Even their mother, Therese, a retired school teacher, comes along whenever she can. I'm happy about it. He's going to help somebody that's less fortunate than we are. Great. He's got all my support because we have been there before at one time. And the three of us uh, could hardly make it, I'll tell you, in the 70s. There are lots and lots of people who find John Turmel too eccentric for their taste. But that doesn't bother John. He plans to carry on just as he always has. I was given a free ride through life. The gift of walking into a, into a game where there's cards or dice and walking out with all the cash. I've got to contribute more than just be able to survive by winning, right? For Newsday, I'm Peter Law. Hey, yes, gambling is illegal in Canada. It is not illegal, however, to say you are a gambler.